Oh, reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for art with Miss Kay. Thank you for the beautiful theme song. Today, Emily, the art dog, and I are going to show you how to make this three-dimensional hand. And I know it looks tricky, but it really isn't. So watch how I did this. Your first step will be to trace your hand. And if this is hard for you to do, have someone else trace it for you so that it's not tricky. And you're going to want to hold your pencil straight. If you angle it, your hand will be really skinny and not look like a real hand. So I keep my pencil super straight. And on my finished one, I did the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Because it's a nice symbol of accepting people. And it's also very beautiful. For this one, I'm going to just try two colors, red and black. And for this one, I'm not going to outline it first, because I want to see how it looks different. So I take the highest finger, and I drew a line on either side of it, and then I made an exaggerated line right there. And I'm going to go up, and I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit, because it's going to look more three-dimensional, okay? Then I'm going to color it in. If you use the marker on its side, it makes wider lines. If you use it straight up and down with the point, it will make narrower lines. So you can do whatever you're comfortable with. You might want to do the narrow part by the fingers and the wide part over here. You can also start at the top of the page with your lines. I chose to start by my hand. I wanted to make sure I could really get a strong hand shape. But you can start at the top and work your way down. That's what I did with the other one. It's really up to you. So up here, now I can move into straight lines. And that's when we're going to do a little pretending so that my demonstration isn't too long. Okay? I'm going to color this one in. I'm going to ask you to pretend that I colored the whole thing. Then I'm going to do a red one. And I would color it in all the way across. You can pretend. I would do a black one. And by now you probably understand the pattern. I would continue that until I filled in this part. So now I'm going to go to my red. And when I get to the finger, I'm really going to make sure I round it up. That's the secret to having it look very three-dimensional, okay? And if you're more comfortable outlining the hand, go ahead. I chose to show you one of each, just so you have choices. And I'm going to have you pretend that I go all the way across. Now I do a black one. Again, exaggerate the curve of the fingers, keeping the part between the fingers straight. And some people say, can I do this with pencil first? You sure can, and the only reason I didn't is pencil is hard to see when we film. So I have to be aware of that when I teach this way, online, of what we can and cannot see filming, okay? But if you're more comfortable starting with pencil, by all means, start with pencil. I got this lesson because my dear friend and mentor and fantastic art teacher, who now is retired, Lori Worth, sent it to me on Facebook several years ago. 
and I've done it at school a few times. Not recently, but I thought it would be cool to revisit it. You don't have to use markers if you want to use colored pencils, if you want to use crayon, you can. I've never tried it with watercolor. I bet you it's possible, but it might be trickier because watercolor can move around. But if you want to challenge yourself, try one with marker first so you get the hang of it and then go ahead, try one with watercolor. I do have a watercolor version. Unfortunately, it's at school. And it was more challenging. But sometimes I like to challenge myself as an artist so I can get better, more skills artistically, so I can improve my skills. When you don't outline the hand with Sharpie, like I did in the first one, it does look different, as you'll see. Looks like the hand is kind of coming out of the paper, which is cool. There's a lot of ways you can try this. You can try this by uh, using only black and white, any colors you want, really skinny lines, thicker lines. Now you can see the hand is starting to emerge. And it looks like it's coming out of the paper. And the more stripes you add, the easier it is to see the hand. I'm just going to do one more stripe and then we're going to pretend that I'm done so that my lesson isn't too long. But can you see the hand coming out? I can. I hope that shows up in film. Looks almost a little spooky. project. It's really fun and it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. The key is that when you make your line over the finger, you have to really arch it. If you keep it flat, then the hand doesn't look three-dimensional. It looks striped. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to do it that way, go ahead. That's fine too. Remember, when we're doing our Art at Home series, we don't really worry about our supplies. We're just trying to be creative, enjoy ourselves, make something, and you can make it any way you want. So my friends, I hope you can see the hand emerging and that this demonstration is enough. I don't want my lesson to be long and boring. I miss you all. Happy three-dimensional hand making.